for CNET and I'm standing next to the Breville Hemisphere Control Blender. The reason it's called the Hemisphere Control Blender is because of the shape of the base of the pitcher, which is rounded, unlike traditional blenders that have flat bottoms where things can get stuck and miss the blades and therefore not get blended. If you are like certain members of my family and friends and only use your blender as a margarita maker, this is probably not the machine for you as it costs $199. But if, on the other hand, you're looking for a multitasking blender that can replace other small appliances in your kitchen and do pretty much anything you need it to, then the Breville is actually a really wise choice. It was a top competitor and held its own against $400 blenders like the Vitamix and the Blendtec and the identically priced Ninja. Like other blenders that have departed from the glass pitcher, the Breville is made of BPA-free plastic, so if you're concerned about your plastics and how your family accesses them, then knowing that this is BPA free will give you a little extra peace of mind and we all know how much that's worth. A lot. <laughs> like other blenders we looked at, the Breville has a lot of really nice preset options that make blending really a fairly mindless activity and they take all the guesswork out of it. They have the snow function for crushing ice into a fine snow mixture, but there's mix, blend, liquefy, and pulse. I genuinely believe that this could replace a food processor in a lot of ways, given how well it processed through raw almonds, and turned them into some pretty delicious almond butter, which defied all of my expectations. With a $199 price sticker, this isn't the blender for everybody. If you are looking for something that can just do day-to-day -day typical blending, this is probably not your best option, as it's capable of doing so much more, and therefore you pay for that. But if you're looking for a multitasking blender that can do a lot and give you a lot of bang for your buck, then I would recommend the Breville Hemisphere Control. For CNET, I'm Katie Pilkington.